Okay. And I like it how they really used or they really chose Jawhead dito. Kasi nakita natin, game number one, uh, early game potential is really in the hands of LTE. So them really choosing okay. si Jawhead na sinabi nga natin na it's a very annoyance to uh, the opposing team kapag meron ngang Jawhead dito. It kind of basically fortifies talaga eh. Yung aggression na meron na ang LTE. So this is a very nice pick coming in from them. But this time, they will be securing the thing that is uh, for this game number two. Dahil nga na wala na si Benedetta because of uh, naban nga away ng Brand E Pro. Ling is also a good choice. This is uh, also a deny coming in from Carl TZ. But you know what? We do see that Carl TZ is very versatile, a very versatile hero. He can really play um, a core or could be uh, from the side lanes as well. So, do, dito din natin makikita kung uh, is, are they still sticking to their stones um, if Carl TZ is going to really stay as their core, which I'm pretty sure they will. Kasi you really want to get like all of your cards possible dito eh, para sa side event. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, side lane Carl TZ, maybe not, but it'll come down to his hero choice. And who is still out there? Lancelot. Okay. Hmm. Mm. May alam ba ang Eagles? Bakit nila binuksan ng Lancelot? Why are they letting this happen? Um, Lancelot is is open, ladies and gentlemen, not banned. Uh -huh. Great pickup though on the Hilda ban and the Claude ban para yung choice of Claude is safe. But now we see Akai! Hmm. Pwede dito, I like this. I like the Akai. So, ihuhuli nila yung hero ni... Uh, Nicole Nicole this is this is a nice YSS Roger, yeah. pa. Mm. This is a nice um discipline for Brand E Pro kasi you don't really want to counter out kung ano yung pwedeng a uh, hero para kay Carl TZ dito. So this is good that they left it out at last pick and as you mentioned, Akai here starting to really escalate into our meta especially when pinning down uh these cashier targets for LP here right here let's say yung mage nila and at the same time can be the link kung, kung if he managed to place of the uh, ult of Akai in a proper way. So, we're going to Tempest Blade to si Ling. Tapos we're going to ult Akai. That could be a good call. But, again, timing is the essential part of this when using the Akai. And as you mentioned, Lancelot is open and up for grabs and that is going to complete the composition of Bread There it is. Some things just don't come as a surprise anymore because we expect that. But we still have to recover. Pa rin naman. Uh, kahit papano ang LPE Eagles I uh, just am curious with the Hayabusa that's gotta be a Hayabusa right? That, 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 that's a skin mm -mm. with an execute? Hayabusa with a hmm so this is this is this is very very interesting lineup for um Bread April. Sure they they already have Carl TZ as their core, but having Hayabusa as well that I guess this is more on the follow up, especially No, this is LPE. LPE, oh, has LPE the sorry rather. LPE, sorry. Uh so uh, they they also have that uh, certain amount of uh, follow up then. So I think they are just really fortifying um both their early game aggression and yung pinaka finisher nila when it comes to the skirmish fights because so I guess hindi natin may, maka may nakatakas but there is also uh, the Hayabusa at play so really interesting for both of our teams I really like how uh, the lineups of LPE are just leveraging the fact na malakas sila pag silang aggressor and malakas sila pag meron silang momentum I'm hoping that this works out because if not Carl is gonna make them pay again opening up the Lancelot I could have sworn feeling ko na sayang yung Claude eh. dapat hindi Claude ban yun eh just let the Claude through, ban Lancelot, and ban Hilda. I think that, that would have been a mm. better choice. But then Akai is still around. So yeah, Akai, Lancelot. Hmm, magaling din naman si EJ mag-Akai eh. So I feel like Bren here has a really good chance of evening the odds. But I also kind of like LPE bringing back Hayabusa into the meta game Five As we go into game number two, feeling go. Mas matagal to. Uh, that's, that's the kind of prediction yeah. I'm gonna say. I can't give a score. Legit, kasi, kasi binigla tayo na LP kanina eh. Uh, so, if anything, I will say that this game will last a little longer than game number two. That's for sure kasi alam na naman ang gusto gawin na LP. Agree. And of course, with this, we are heading on to our second game of our first series, which 
is of course under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. And of, and looking right here into our triple cameras right now, we are seeing a three, uh, one, three, one lineup for both sides of our teams. But both of them not really making a move with, in terms of potential invades. Pero ito na, mukhang sisida dito si EJ sa kanilang purple buff trying to at least do a similar play, denying any buffs coming in from their core. But I uh, look at this, Aspect is going to go into the orange buff first and this is going to make Bren E Pro at least go back onto their fundamentals to get the economy right. Okay, so right now we are seeing right here that uh, both of our teams just really poking each other out. Not much of action is happening through, but Rebo really with the low break of health right here first against Ryota was able to dash away, but the first spot is gonna go to uh, Khalid Vito, but Aspect is going to have some space in getting that purple buff in return. So this is uh, pretty good but for LPE taking uh, the first blood, and right now here, uh, we are seeing that Arbs is going to be at least depleted by a half health against Black Easy and company Dito. But this is also enough of the time for uh, LPE to really respond. They don't really want that casualty away from their side. Yep, surprising, no? Na napapagana pa rin ng Eagle dito because as Brenny Pro, I was expecting they, they would play a little safer. But mm -hmm. right now, as you can see, Cartesi already ended up in the top lane. First blood uh, being scored onto Rebo. I actually expected Flap to be using this Lapu-Lapu. Pero yun nga, mas siguro gamay ni Flap ang uh, Yuzhong. And Rebo is the internal Swiss army base. Engaging with the Tempest of Blades above. Flap easy with a defensive Black Flag of Form. Okay, luckily though, Aspect was able to escape that. Uh, dive types lang ano man yung commit doon because you don't really want to give some space for Bren uh, Ito to actually escalate their economy here so this is good call for Arbs using the meteor showers to show away the Lancelot into going back into his turf so again with our side lane here wala masyadong action because both of our teams really need uh, the resources that they need but look at this coming in a deep pressure for EJ it really will take a lot of damage from that Chango and the the um, going to be there, but sadly to connect to anyone, so this is going to force them a disengage and will be opting for the objectives instead. But many people are in the vicinity. Meanwhile, on to the bottom side, na haras lang dito para hindi na sila through. But look at that ejection is gonna come through for few. This is the flicker right here, and Arby is gonna free hit, flies his best, and they will be getting that kill. But that's the trade coming in from the Valier Templars. Blaze will be used, but it's not gonna connect to anyone right here. EJ tries to go in. But Lokum did not connect to Ling and was able to go for that disengage. What's happening essentially is Bren E Pro nagpapa agat sila. Essentially, hmm. so, sinasabi na sa si Eagles, hindi yeah, aggressive kayo. Sige, papasa kami ng konti. And that's the story here. Look, EJ finding uh, the Hurricane Dance on Toriota. Oh. But Toriota lalaban! He actually wins oh. it! Rampaging Sandstorm into the first skill going back and forth, back and forth. Baka magsaan lapu-lapu and EJ is gonna Retreat! Wow! Eagles lost the battle in mid, pero mo kami bawis sila sa taas. The, the, the fact that the Khalid was able to really survive in that 2v1 fight is really uh, one of the keys for LPE. So Bimo here is going to eject the orange buff, I think, for distraction. But that's what we'll be using his ult right here coming from the show of the Valier. And it, he will be the one to finish the life of uh, Bimo back there. Pero mukhang babawi dito ang LPS. They will be shoving into the bottom side. But it's not really enough to get the Yuzhong since he is um, deeply hugging uh, that tower over there. So... This is going to make uh, things go back once more, get the getting economy and defending uh, the towers that we have. So Lancelot again will be trying to at least harass them into thinking that they will be going in for some engagement. But you know what? Uh, I think uh, no, actually not. I think it is quite easy having the discipline on not doing so. So Hayabusa will be using his shadow clones right here. Here can dance. It's not going to connect to him right there. But it's enough to really defeat himself. And of course, that is an entry coming in from Jake the dog to end his life. Yep. Say, so, yeah, I'm wondering, anong kinain ng eagles ng breakfast? Anong kinain nila? Mm. Coach Panda, kwento mo naman kasi gusto ko rin yan. They have won two two-on-one two duels already. Hold up. Nice take by a few there. Pero legit, di ba? They have taken yes. two two-on-one duels already. Top and then bottom. 
Mm -hmm. and, and already, this should give Brenny Pro an idea na okay, LP here, hindi na sila magpapagulang Ooh. and there's a second turtle taken. Okay, that was a good steal coming in from the Lancelot right there. But that was also a nice attempt for LPE to actually contest and uh, for, force the issue. But look at this! Yuzong was able to really pin down the Chang'o and go for that take. And with the low health coming in from the Khalid right here, I saw that Jahid tries to push him away, but that's not really enough to really save him to death. And again, for LTC, this is now an opportunity for him to go inside. Look at this, the is gonna be used, but Hayabusa is gonna take one. A trade coming in from Lapu Lapu right here. And this is a disengage, but look at this, not easy. I think we'll try to go in for us with that low health, but you have to take note that he can go into the terrain. So this is nice call coming in from Ren Epro to just disengage and focus once more into getting towers first because I think that's what they need in order to gain that control. Uh, so far, already the name Science say uh, na mas matagal nga ang laban na ito kaysa dun sa kanina. Flapinzi, gonna get called with the Jekker. Palikod, there's the unstoppable force. Flapinzi survives though. No? Arvs still gonna continue. EJ disengaging with the Hurricane Dance. Ay na, oh, aspect. Here comes the Tempest. Oh, and Tempest Blade will be used to really clean up you wrong away from the board and again uh, with their um a uh, usual out this forces them to disengage once again you know why because you don't want to afford casualties right here especially with lpe uh bringing in the momentum sure uh brand e pro also has their spotlights here they are able to take down uh people there especially when alone nakita naman natin diba na, uh, nakabawi yung valier gun uh, taking down the lapu lapu but the thing is the way that lpe rotates at this point and uh, engaging in the skirmish fights like this one once again not really hesitating to go uh, into the tower dive but the Yuzhong was there in the vicinity so he, they decide to just transition themselves into middle here they are seeing that Arv is in danger Meteor Tower is going to be to throw them all the way look at this Jotun will be going inside and then the space will come to not gonna collect anyone EJ will be very dancing aspect but it's only to show him away and that was actually a close call this is Joyd was able to eject one that could have been a game for LPE yeah, pero hindi pa tapos eh. Uh, you see that Ryota with the Rampage Sandstorm aspect still face poisoning in. Fume jumbo papa. Fuse still dealing some damage and back and out at the same time. Turtle here. They're just safe for now. Brenny Pro has a good claim at this. But there's the meteor shower. Kaltizi looks low with the phantom execution surviving. There you go. Bin si Ryota paharap. And now Ryota with the one. Like quite a bit of damage. Execution, phantom. Oh, sorry. Thorn Rose by Kaltizi. And there's the first turtle. By aspect, but at what cost? The Baba na boy aspect, the Petal Blade palayo dash out. Okay. That was they keep trading. They keep going yes. back and forth. Actually, that's true. And you did mention na mas matagal nga talaga to because both of our teams already know what is up and how are they going to engage in the fights. But I like it how every little thing is being used. Every skill for both of our teams. It's just that for Easy here, we're starting to see him really go into the limelight right now, abusing the low, healthy people coming in from LTE. So again, another Jector will be fading down Black Easy with the Meteor Shower and the Raging Sandstorm will be having that skill. So far, ladies and gentlemen, the story of the series is Khalid is amazing. I still am yet to understand why Jake the Dog chose the Hayabusa here. Um, feeling ko ano siya eh, parang sagot sa Lancelot para maghahanap ng target yung shadow kill and then when Lancelot does come out of his uh, invulnerability frames may damage pa rin si Jake the Dog that's just you know my, my, my theory here but so far both teams are staying neck and neck we're approaching yes. 10 minutes and there's barely a 500 gold uh, difference between them say so, yeah, Mm -hmm. One key that showed me here that Brenny Pro is in it for the long haul at hindi sila mag and they are gonna fight for game number 3 here is because mm -hmm. nice hurricane dance though EJ kaso walang damage output It's because hindi nila siya natok Speaking of that, knockouts knock all through and through for both sides of our team Yuzong is going to use his dragon there to actually throw the members away but I think is going to be pinned down by two make it two members of uh, Bren E. Pro Cartesi onto the chase aspect will try to go into the terrains right here to safety, but it's few. And the gang will be trying to take him down and finally get the kill here onto the bottom side. But that is going to at least buy some time for the other members to go to safety. Nako na lugiata, na lugiata doon si kuya mo aspect. He chose to dive in, use the tempest of blades in a defensive manner. Sure, you got the kill on EJ. 
But was it worth it? You lost Jake the Dog, you lost Aspect, and it was pretty much a free kill for Carl TZ. So far, Carl TZ looking great in this game. 4, 1, and 4. Already, nag push na ang uh, Bren E Pro dito, mid and bottom. But note, hindi umaalis si Jake the Dog dun sa bottom lane. Kani niya pati na trabaho. Kaya, konti na lang inhibitor na lang titira dun sa bottom. Which is good for the Eagles. I think they should stay the course here. And kind of fix the way that they uh, engage and they uh, yeah. make decisions like that. Wag nang mag-assim si Aspect kung si EJ lang din ang mamatay. Wag siyang gigil. Uh, uh, I, I have to agree. They have to at least take a chill pill uh, kapag mag-call sila na shots dito. But look at this. Trying to really harass Bimo here and applying pressure dito sa ating middle side which is a good call for um, Brent Ebro because they already have this certain amount of control dito sa ating mapa. So they uh, they the options for taking the Lord is open. But I think the strategy here for Brent Ebro is to take down one or two members of LPE whenever they will try to attempt in winning a skirmish fight. Para at least secured na ang pagtitake nila ng Lord dito. And yeah, pretty good for LPE here to just staying uh, their grounds, not overextending. Kasi they know already the dangers, especially with Cartezi and his damage output. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, I think Lord is uh, a little easier of a take for Bren E Pro. Because I do believe yung Eagles... Ngayon natatakot na sila eh. Kasi mm -hmm. I can see now in the way Aspect is moving is he would rather stay away from the fights Ooh. rather than chase him earlier. But now Lord is EJ with the Hurricane Dance! Knapping down si Jake the dog! And that's going to be a free turret push while Bimo can only watch. Say ya, uh, this is starting to look dangerous because that mm -hmm. was a defensive objective if I've ever seen one. And medyo natrap na yata si Bimo dito. That's oh. four on one rampaging Oy. Sandstorm pushing in the back. Take it away! Okay, so that was a beautiful sensor coming in from uh, Rakali. But take note once more, Leo, that this is used defensively para makasurvive si Bimo doon. And Chang, uh, with that meteor showers, to at least put on some harassment uh, doon para hindi na sila mag-push through with the uh, fights that they that Brent initially planned out. So this is back to them getting uh, the economy. But look at this! Ejected si Karatisi dito into the terrain of LPE but was not able to take the follow-up damage for him to be off the board. And you know what? Karatisi uses his ult to dash out. But go back into the game anyway. And look at this ejector was again to be used. Pero ang mga orang dito si Bimo right there with all of that gas. No happy to not get over time. This place will be used to trade in the Valir. But that is, I think, enough for LPE to just disengage and do not force the issue. Because another casualty can really mean big for Bread Pro in pushing the lane. Yep, uh, one for one, Bimo for few. I call that a wash. Feeling of fair naman yon. And if anything, lamang payata ng bagya ang Bren E Pro. That is the engagement or one of the better engages para ma target talaga si TZ or si, uh, si few dito. But then again, few is out. So, again, it's closer to a wash, but Bren E Pro a little more ahead here. If only not the Eagles were. More mobile. Tira mo, ang bilis mo critic ni Jake the Dog. At syempre naman, Finch Poise dito ni Aspect. I gotta say, Arv's on this uh, Chang'e. Feeling ko anti-tay lang konti. And then he will turn mm. more into a core. But right now, it's more about managing the waves. Clearing them up. Now, Bimo catches out Ribo. Diyan ka muna. Oh no. Okay. Figure out. Oh, I figure out. That was able to be stunned by the Valir. And here, look at this. The entry coming in from uh, the Lancelot. And Valir's just gonna go for the picture. Okay, that's what again would be spinning. Ryota here with three members of Ren Kito actively to try to at least have that positive reinforcement. He's beat Haya, he's doing some And look at this last one, he'll be having a trade of his own. But the Hayabusa is just gonna end things through with Chang O there with a uh, following up with of that damage. Tempest Blaze right here to compensate for that loss. And he's just gonna take Valir down. And an opening to take the Lord for the side of LPE to manage to turn the tables around. Oh, Seiya, this is going to be the most free lord they'll ever have in this game so far. 15 minutes in. That's the first lord for the Eagles. And finally, I could have sworn Aspect was not gonna make it. Pero buti na lang naspatan niya. Hindi ko alam kung minarakahan nga ba or maganda ang communications ng tropa ng LPE. But they did say, Aspect, nandyan si Ribo. Ay, nandyan si Few. Nandyan yung Valir. Pasukin mo. And of course, he had the ult. He had energy to spare. And they got it. An amazing... 3 for 2 sweep leading into the clutch lord here marching up top. Now, the key for Brenny Pro here is 1, defend lord, and 2, 
maybe leverage this uh, this minion wave down bottom. Pero sa ni aspect yan eh. So I think mm. their uh, first key here to stabilizing, equalizing this uh, matchup is to clear the waves and save this mid lane turret. Kaya tatlo ang nakaalat dito na defenders. I agree with you on that. And they also have to take note as well of aspect going in into the backlines. Especially now that LPE is really applying pressure to actually most of our lanes. But they will be sticking into the top side here with a lot of population coming in. Hayabusa for the entry right here against P1. Papasok pa rin ako. Let's coming in from EJ. will be taking them down. Actually, no. EJ is going to survive getting on the space. But that is enough to open up the tower on the top. And look at this. He's playing just really going all out taking down the one but the you for the trade and the low help coming in from the bmo and company is going to force them to back away which is oh. a good call but look Wait at this lang, carl tz naga asim si carl i mean oh. alam niya naman kung sino nandon but if bmo look at this say so, yeah think about this if bmo was still there somewhere tapos si riota and arvs if they get it right they could have cleaned up house and maybe yes. pop the immortality but again at least ej is here the enforcer the trusted one Maganda ang turnaround ng uh, E-Pro, but yeah, the, the deed is done. Nabutas na yung top and <laughs> bitin ng one hit yung yes. mid. <laughs> but, but you know, it's still also enough for another entry coming in. Once more, if they are able to get uh, the stakes into their favor. And as you mentioned, nga, no, enough to actually prop that immortality against Cartesi. Easy. But they, they knew the, the risk of taking it. Now, pwedeng mabalik tad kasi ni Cartesi yun. So they don't want to force that issue. And speaking of forcing the issue right here, Ariota will be forced, if I'm not mistaken, he used his flicker to go back uh, into the lane. But look at this. Yu Zhong will be using his mobility once more meter showers to at least get. But Sakan na connect not to anyone. Hayabusa with that energy. But it's really gonna just go for the disengage. So this pins down Brand Pro in uh, depleted health. During a dance, the new defensive to go back into the fight. And again, this is really tight spot in engaging your fights right here. But Yu Zhang is gonna take that trade anyway. We'll be taking down the lead. Not over though. And this is a good call for LPE to back away. Uh, wala na, wala si Ryoto sa board. So they need to wait for 40 more seconds before he spawns. And this is an opportunity for them to defend. They don't. They can't afford any casualties at this point because if they do, this is an opening for bread eating. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ang uh, mantra ng EDS dito, defense. Ah. Defense. <laughs> ah. They're gonna lose this turret, no doubt. But uh, I think it's still somewhere in the cards here to save mid as well. Hold up. Hold up, right here. Look at this. Knock down, But I think that was enough to rock the no, they are going to take down two members of LPE. Yeah, and Jake Tom will be forced to back away. Lancelot got easy with no hesitations of going in. It will be propping up that immortality. But Woo! the Chang'o is gonna go for the finish. And look at your aspect. No one able to eradicate the, all of the remaining towers that Brent Epro has dito. So a lot of pressure. This forces now Brent Epro to back away as we, as we have witnessed the on. And this is a good entry for LPE right now to go for the response. Oh wow, aspect made the perfect call. That was legitimately either all in or nothing. At yes. sabi ni Aspect, sige bumutasin ko na yung bottom, declare ko na yung oh, wave, tanahawin ko na orange. Free. And Jake is taken out by Flap TZ. This is Brandy Pro holding on. They have taken a few hits. They have been rocked, but they're still in it. And now, for the Eagles, I gotta say, say a medyo delicado. Yes. Itong Lord na ito, Carl TZ is coming on in three seconds. Medyo nandito na yung tropa ng Brandy Pro. Uh -huh. This might actually be another lord for Bren, I'm not sure. Uh, depends if they are able to have that successful skill. Look at the sand card is going to be used and that means Charles will go through it. So we'll be taking down the Akai right here. Look at this class. Charles is coming in from LTE right now. We took a little bit of time in taking Laku Laku, but it is enough to defeat the members of Bren E Pro down to two. So only three members remaining that is alive on Bren. This is an opening now for LPE to get the Lord. But as mentioned, 12 TZ is alive. That potential um uh, retribution can still be in play, but they are not gonna let that happen. Ejector though was not hit, was not gonna connect to Carl TZ, but in that minion. But again, enough to really push him away. Yep, check out the items though. Few just bought himself a Twilight Armor, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Nineteen yan ni Few. Naparati siya target in ng mga pwede ng tayo sa backline. Give the dog aspect. As long as we can get rid of uh, the Valier, it's all good in the hood. Oh, Now, Carl looking low! Aspect oh, takes a block! Like Ever the blade para mag disengage, Saya! Okay, hindi pa na tapos, but we'll be taking a trade in down lane right here, but that is good. 
reinforcement for LTE not to take the remaining members. And that is a double kill coming in from the Yuzhong Chang'e. We'll be having that shutdown at hindi pa siya matatapos dito. All of that damage coming in from ARBs is being used really well for the side of LPE right here. And they still manage to survive and de de deny this Lord Day coming in from Brandy Pro and para mapunta sa kanila and look at this Dominions into the base enters so this forces them now to just stay there wait for them to actually get these and look at this right now Ryota unfortunately was alone hindi niya kakayanin itake yung, so yung Lord ng solo but Ard is all the of their the vicinity I like it though how EJ is there to monitor uh, their move I think with the potential but you know what, Mimo is just gonna enter here as well. Yep, ang uh, story nito mga Lord na ito is paunahan, ang core. In comes mm -hmm. Cartesi, in comes Aspect, let's see who's gonna get it. Okay, so oh, wait! Dito. Oh, look at that knock back! Oh, look at that knock back! Oh, look at that knock back! Oh, look at that knock of LTE, but I think that's not enough to take them down as a casualty. Look at this, Rebo here will be taken down as well as Ling onto the back line. Still takes down as well. See EJ done, and this is just a lot of opening now for LTE to go inside their base. Okay, so yeah, three defenders for the pro plus a lower. Completo ang Eagles dito. The key here is for the Eagles to not lose their damage. Yes. And Ryota, he's in very thin ice. Oh, Pero delikado. That. With the life skill that Ryota was able to get, he did manage to stay alive, but not for long as said by a really wrong right here, Hayabuto with that entry of his saddles, but this is enough to really disengage them once more. I love it how LTE is just being patient right here, not being too greedy, kahit sabihin natin tatlong members lang ng Bren ang nandi dito sa ating board. Mm -hmm. I like it. Ang uh, priorities talaga ng uh, Bren e no, sorry, ng Eagles is to sige guys, hindi natin natapos. Nakapag-depensa tayo. Maganda na sana yon. Three defenders left, but we'll just take what resources we can. Few with the steel Whoa. in your face ng purple. Wow. Whoa, that was just sticky place coming in from Few there just taking away an economy na dapat sana mapupunta sa LPE. But again, do not fret for the side of Eagles. But you know what? Leia, this is I think one of the most intense fights na makita natin maglaro ang LPE. They really know uh, when to place their timing here. It's just that this time they have the discipline enough to call whether it's an engage or a disengagement fight. Mm -hmm. And what I say, guys, this is gonna be a game longer than game number <laughs> one, and we're approaching the point where San times two na siya ng length, and I expect yes. no less from both of these teams. Brandy Pro wants to recover, the Eagles still want to do more, and Bimo and Carl see each other, and they are stickering. Now Carl Tizi knows he can't uh -huh. engage, he can't engage, pero alam kaya na Eagles na dito si EJ just a few, delikado yan. Yes, and they really have to be careful whenever they try to scout out the areas of our map because Bren Epro here can have a good strategy in giving the element of surprise. And look at that, Meteor Shower is just gonna uh, leave Cortese at least going back into our base to regain some of his health. But let's see how LPE is going to utilize this time that they have right now so EJ already has the information that two or three members rather are into the middle sides and he just will, will just tell his members now okay sige, may mga members dito, but they are gonna transition here into the bottom side so flat is gonna use his ult in in defense yep uh we'll see counter now uh, on the uh, black dragon form maganda yung uh, half dragon no para yeah. mag clear ng waves but it only lasts so long and here we go now the fight is fair it's gonna be a oh, fight to the Is going to be over, not going to connect to anyone, and that is going to be their help by a long shot. Right here, so the dog is trying to go in and out and will be taking down Tarsi. This is going to be an fight for the LPE right now, as they will be taking oh. down one of their card damage. Look at this aspect of the back door, however, will be trying to actually complete the help of the base. And this is not over. That's almost going to be used, and the dragon form is going to be over by you, dog, right here now, in hopes of taking down one. The low health are coming in. Akai will be taking off Hayabusa off the map. And this again forces LPE to disengage. But that was actually close call because I think they're planning to distract the members of Red Pro here just so that Aspect can have an opening to get mm. the base. But I, I feel like that was 
too much of a gambit. Masyado pang mm. maaga para gawin yun and kulang sila ng waves. Maybe if it was two Lord, waves crashing in soon. from top and bottom, tapos kasama si Aspect, then maybe you leave him five seconds, a solid five seconds, and we might have a case. We might have game number two in the bag. Mm. But that just wasn't it. Yung laban masyado malapit doon sa yes. base ng Bren E Pro. Kaya kahit wala si Cartizzi, kayang sumagot. Maganda pa rin, relatively, ang board wipe, ang clear ng Bren E Pro. You have few and you still have Rebo who is a better duelist but is an okay wave clearer. So right now, reset sila. Dahil may Lord, ting isa na sila, I think this next one should make the difference. Whoever gets this Lord here, kahit na lamang ang uh, Eagles dito, I, on the map, I'd say, Bren E Pro, if they get this Lord, could just finish wherever lane they choose. Okay, this is the pretty risky for the side of Eagles with Ling being absent. But look at this, Hayabusa is gonna co compensate with that and depleting the health of Black Easy. But look at this, the life heal capability to him is just too real. At this point, at nagpapagulo lang dito si uh, Aspect that the space can be used for Rebo. But actually, that's a good call. Kasi it, it, he, it was forced to dish out uh, the Tempting Space of Ling. Kasi ngayon pa lang siya magpunta dito sa ating Lord side and him without, uh, without having that ult means that he has to uh, reset the cooldown bago siya bumalik ulit in ever may mangyayaring team fight. Yep, and uh, looking where this next team fight might happen, if it happens close to Lord, that's good for Eagles. Kasi, again, Aspect can just do this by the Manggulo. If they manage the waves right, they can do what land to do anyways. And if they can... Again, back door. That's what we call it, guys. Back door para sa pagpatingin mo yung base na wala yung laban, na wala dun yung minions mo, wala dun yung mga kampi mo. Then, kung magawa nyo nyo habang wala kang Lord, then lamang. But right now, I think there's a big team fight happening. It's gonna be decided by this. Okay, so I'm just gonna be with Captain and connect to anyone right here. But this is a good aggression coming from LP. He decides to give up on the Lord and actually take down the Weibo uh, of the map. So, with with minus one sa Bren E Pro, this could be a potential Lord take for LPE. But Bren E Pro, knowing this, they are also going to stay in the vicinity for that steal attempt. And uh, take note, buhay pa si Karatiz dito. Pwedeng pwede niyang i-retribution uh, yung Lord dito if ever the situation deems fit. And so right now, sinisimulan na ng LPE to abusing the fact that Rebo is off the board. So this that that's kind of like a minus for them in terms of crowd control. But speaking of crowd control right here, look at this. Carl is going to back away for now. Ryota with the low health, but still has the immortality though. So uh, the Lord here, uh, trying uh, his best for the channel to actually go and inflict some damage. But, this, but they managed to show away Red Ebro right here. And finally, the Lord has been taken for the sides of LPE. Grabe, Seiya, that's a, a two or three layered Lord take. One, managing the lane, stop lane, para may mapilitan kang sumagot doon. Two, mm -hmm. you picked out at least one. May isang kulang sa kanila, so kulang sila sa manpower, right? Yes. So they have four members, they have to send someone up, up and then they have to send someone to defend Uy. against you into clear waves. And then lastly is... Parating may naabantay kay Lord. If you did that the wrong way, na-reset yung Lord na yan. And you would have had to start from square one. Now, the fact that the Eagles have uh, executed means isa pa silang libre ng Lord. And now, mm -hmm. they can just pressure all the more. And at this point, we're, we're approaching 30 minutes. Sobrang kunat ng Lord na ito. Yes. I feel like Epro has to pull something from somewhere. Dahil ito na. This is the defense oh, of the So Lord is gonna enter the door. Jack is gonna be used against EJ right here. So Impressive. This game.